idea behind forming the Mitten Ensemble was to give uh, the opportunity for four superb singers uh, and myself to perform and explore lesser known repertoire from the art song canon. Uh, we particularly enjoy finding unknown or rarely performed ensembles uh, and placing these alongside more frequently heard art song. The most wonderful thing about, I think, working in, um, as a musician is the variety we have as singers um, or as instrumentalists that you can play with all sorts of different um, groups and different styles of music. And I think none more so with this um, song group, you know, group of people who love leader, who love to sing in these sort of more intimate spaces and this much, these sort of beautiful little vignettes of, of, um, of music compared to, say, the big opera stuff we do um, elsewhere or, you know, um, whatever it might be. And that's what I find so brilliant about this group particularly is that we all have a love of those different styles of music, these, whether it's opera or concert work, and that you can bring all those different things together. I think one of the real strengths of the group, as far as listeners are concerned, um, is having the opportunity to listen to four solo singers all with very distinctive individual colours to their voices, um, but also that they are artists that have a thirst for chamber music and really listen so well and are able to get a really extraordinary blend as a group. So we're really pleased to be putting down our first disc as a group and we're very grateful to Signum for giving us the opportunity to get this programme down on disc, Songs to the Moon. And it takes us through various nocturnal settings. We've got some beautiful 19th century German repertoire, some beautiful quartets by Brahms and duets by Schumann, some lovely music from the French melody tradition, uh, a nice little sort of cameo appearance from a Catalan song sung by Clara Maurice and also some really beautiful English music as well. So there's a really nice variety across the programme. The five artists of the Myrten Ensemble, we have in common the Royal Academy of Music, where we all studied. It's really nice to come back to do music together because it feels a little bit like coming back home and, uh, and meeting in the, in the beginning of our understanding of music. In German uh, poetry, folklore, art, um, myrtles um, have come to symbolise uh, marriage and what we wanted to do was to find a word that would uh, capture the marriage be between um, text, music, singer, pianist and artist and listener. When you go and watch a recital in a concert hall, I think the normal thing, the done thing, has always been to do songs as groups, set by composer or um, by in terms of when they were written, um, which is which is wonderful and still there's a place for that definitely. But what the Mission Ensemble does that's different is we often perform songs as part of a theme 
or there's a narrative running through the programme so that there's a clear story or idea behind it for the audience to, to latch onto. I personally find it a wonderful way of doing things because it can really give songs um, a different perspective and it's so important, I think, to use your imagination when you're performing songs. And it can, if, if you've got a story behind it, then you can take on a character, which is it's great for us four singers because we all do opera and we're actors as well. So I often find that it really releases me as a performer to know that maybe I'm coming at it from a different character perspective rather than just I've got a song with a poem. <laughs>